Right now, all business in the House of Representatives has essentially ground to a screeching halt, which is not to say that the Republican majority in the chamber was ever really the model of functioning governance. The GOP only holds power because it won a razor-thin majority in the 2022 election. Now, part of the reason there is that the party went into the midterm election benefiting from congressional maps that were redrawn by Republican legislatures. And while we cannot know what might have happened in the alternate reality where congressional maps were not gerrymandered in Republican state houses, the very handy website Democracy Docket has identified six states where House Democrats lost at least one seat and their majority in the House because of those gerrymandered maps. And those states are Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Ohio, Utah, and Alabama. Each of these Republican-led states put maps in play that gave their party a distinct advantage in the 2022 election. Alabama's congressional map had only one majority black district out of seven, despite the fact that black residents make up 27 percent of the state's population. But today, after not one but two Supreme Court rulings and a court-appointed special master, Alabama has been forced to adopt a new congressional map with a second majority black district. And that map will be in effect for next year's election, 2024, which will in turn give Democrats a chance at picking up two of Alabama's seven congressional seats. Now, this is a major victory for voters in Alabama, but it also offers a glimmer of hope for voters in other states where Republican-drawn maps are currently being contested in the courts. If those challenges are successful, Democrats could pick up several seats in the 2024 election, which could mean a Democratic majority in Congress and maybe even a functioning House of Representatives. At the very least, a more representative democracy.